told you he didn't want to be here and he was all wet. <laughs> Tilly. We got that on camera too. Great. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to adjust the camera so they could see him. Tilly's with us. Not Toby's anymore. with us. But they're Not soaking anymore. wet and they're very angry. I need some space. You need some space. Yes, I do. All right. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Spacey. <laughs> He's Spacey. We're flooding. And all right, you got your Bible verse ready? In the uh, chapel? Uh, mm -hmm. Hang on. I know it. I know it. Receding or, or which one did you want? Uh, Prevailed or receding? And the waters prevailed upon the earth for 150 days. And the waters prevailed. Oh, wait, hang on. And the waters receded, receded steadily, steadily from, from the earth. earth and after and 150 gone, days, the waters had gone, had gone, gone down. down. Now, what Bible verse is which? Uh, Genesis 7:24 is when the, the waters were prevailing on the earth for 150 days. Genesis 8:3 8, 8, is when they were receding. So. You don't know what's going to happen. It's Oklahoma. That's the thing. And there we went. Bye bye. I can't see us. <laughs> I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the barn stalls, what do we got going on? Um. I have oranges. He's got cookies. I have some Pepsi. Carl, that's enough. No, I have oranges and cookies. <laughs> I didn't peel them, so you can't eat them. You don't like them cut up. I have scissors. I shall peel them. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the quarters. Watch it can be done. All right, in the barn stalls. First, tell what's going on, or you don't get any. Um, nothing. Uh, you you went and worked with you yesterday. Where did she work at? I took her to work to go catch a couple of cows. Mhm. Mm How'd that go? Went good. She was good. How many times did you have to take her and try? Twice. How come? So I was by myself the first time, and I couldn't get it done. Okay, but you were babysitting somebody else's cows, correct? This yeah. is not one of our cows. No. What happened? She got mad. What was wrong with the cow? She had a bad foot. It was hurting her, so she got mad and kept walking up. She went her. down and then trying to get her to go up to the house. Wasn't working very good, was it? Uh-uh. So you got some help and mm -hmm. got it done, right? Yep. This season's navel uh, oranges are awesome. Just saying. I think we've had, what, four bags through the house in like the last week? Been longer than that. Two weeks. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Oh, but they're amazing. Mm -hmm. They're juicy and. Uh, maybe I'm just on an orange kick. Okay. There's, your, there's your oranges. I'm not orange. Okay, quit it. I mean, All right, anything else going on in the barn stall? I say you are with you. Right now we've got Carl in his kennel, Wilbur in his kennel, Jethro up on the floor, Moose is in his kennel because with three big dogs they don't watch where they walk, and then there's Tilly and Toby, which are the catfish that I fished out of the front yard. Um, we like that kind of catfish, huh, son? Because they clean themselves. <laughs> I'm not a big Chinese food fan, though. Nope. So... But apparently I'm fishing. Caught him. Toby was up underneath the wheel well of my truck. So, which is not cool. Why not? It's been a dry place. Yeah, but if I didn't check it before I left for work tomorrow in the morning. Well, he wasn't there. He wasn't going to be there in the morning. He'd be there well, in the you day. hope he doesn't curl up and go to sleep there. He might fall off. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Right now, everything is dry, kind of, sort of, right? Mm -hmm. Everything has a stall. Yep. There's just no place to move them to. They're all, if they're in water, they have to stay there until the water rushes on. Mm -hmm. The good thing is is that storms like this don't... Jethro's in our plates. Will you go get him, please? Or is it Toby? Toby. All right, just leave it. I'll get it here in a minute. There's nothing there. So, anyway, 
Um, but for the most part, everything's cool. They're just gonna have to stand there. And this is Oklahoma. They this happens every year, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. At one point, we when we first moved out here. Hey, Wilbur. We uh, thought about naming this place the Straw River Ranch, but then the creek always the river always dried up. So <laughs> it only does this in the spring and in the fall, right? Yep. So, um, and we do know the path of the stuff that comes through here. So, you oh, know, you we've been that. pretty good about getting them where they need to go. It's quarter. I cut it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. That's one fourth of the orange. Oh, big orange. Mm-hmm. Or I just miscalculated. <laughs> I bet you miscalculated. So, all right. Anyway, we are in love with these oranges. Just in case you haven't noticed, they're good. <laughs> he hates it when I cut them, mm -hmm. and I don't want to take the time to peel them. Just easier to cut them and eat them. So, all right. Anything else going on in the barn sales other than the flooding, all the cats? And we have a barn full of cats out there. Peanuts out there, little gray. Uh, junior. The orange. The, oh, the new orange cats out there. Um, the chickens and ducks are safe. They have a, the inside of that coop has concrete barrier uh, that we made. It's not to concrete it in, it's so that things can't dig under. Um, and that acts like a water barricade so that the water doesn't spew in. It just goes, runs around it. So that's a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Cattle and horses are out there. Yep. We have a pen open for them. They all have a stall, but there's no plan. I mean, it's flooded out there. There's nothing for them to do. Just hang out until it's over. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on. I'm done now. Into. Bye. See you. Mm -mm. What comes next? Mending fences. Um, you were fixing some things yesterday, right? We worked on getting the tiny house, getting the braces up in the right place. We miscalculated. Okay, I miscalculated before he even says anything. But every time I had him put it up, he did it again. And again, and again, didn't you? Mm. You looking at me? I, I don't see. That's his Christmas present. He likes that T-shirt, don't you? I don't see. There's nobody here. Space. That's who I'm talking to. It's space. Um, but anyway, so we fixed on that. Probably shouldn't have because it probably is settling now. I don't know. Think it'll pack it in or float it up. Think it'll fill with water. And boards are pretty heavy. Yeah. I'm hoping that it packs it in real good. Um, we did that. You even watered your strawberries, but now they're getting plenty of water. Mm -hmm. uh, the plants out in the garden, I guess that's in the field, huh? Mm -hmm. But that's in the yarn farm. All right, in the yarn farm, we have the spa day coming up. If you want um, reservations, make sure you call us. Because... We're only taking so many, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What? 918-640-4012. Mm -hmm. That's the number, just in case you need it. Yep. So. Limited spots, only a few left. Yep, and everybody walks over the gift bag. It is $5 to attend. You will have a facial and a hand massage. And I've got to go and get one thing that goes in the gift bag. And I think the rest of it's already pretty much made, I think. Mm -hmm. It's really a cool gift bag. I love it. Um, anyway, so that's going on in the yarn farm. And that's being put on by our intern. Miss Ashley is stepping up her game this year. And instead of just doing a hide-and-seek thing in the garden, which is what she did last year, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
she made that activity for the kids. This year she's actually going to be talking to people and talking about some things and uh, yeah. She's actually going to get her no on, right? She's going to know stuff. I'm tired. My head hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not making much sense, am I? Um, all right, so in the yarn farm, mending fences, we didn't have a whole lot other than fixing posts. In the yarn farm, Ashley's got the farm day coming up. Oh, we need to set a date. Where's the calendar? Give me that calendar. Fireflies and stargazing. What day are we going to do it on? Uh, what evening are you going to be home? I don't know. I can get Ashley. This is May. Okay, so we've got school field trips during the week. So we want to do this on a Friday, maybe on the 14th. Do you have anything going on on the 14th, no, RJ? I have no idea. What do you mean? I haven't looked up our head. Well, Friday night, the 14th, it looks like we're going to do, and if it has to be me and Ashley, I guess it'll be me and Ashley. Uh, how about if we make it the 21st, the first, the first day, day of summer? summer. Yep. Yeah. All right, so the 20th is going to be fireflies and stargazing. And that is the night that we will open the uh, farm up. So that people can come out with their telescopes and all that kind of stuff, right? Right? He took my cookies. Mm -hmm. A little miniature sandwich cookies with strawberry filling. You got the filling back? Yes, yes, I do. Uh uh. <laughs> Take it off my finger. <laughs> Brat. Come here, Tilly. No use in double handling it. Get Tilly. Let him no. Look. He smacked me with his Carl. tail last time. That's what Carl's getting upset about. Is he doesn't like cats. And we have to. Well, get, get over it, Carl. You will Carl. at some point in your life. When they're outside, as long as they don't go into his territory, the only time that he gets after Tilly is when Tilly gets in the garden. Correct. Until he just. And the thing is, he doesn't go better. on. He he doesn't go on. He just keeps doing it. Strawberry stuff is gross. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. Trade you back one. I don't want any more. Oh, you don't? Did you lick these? <laughs> no, but I wish I would have. That would be great. <laughs> if you licked them, I'm not eating them. I didn't. I wish I would have. You see that strawberry left on there? If I'd have licked them, it wouldn't have been there. Okay. That's true. All right. So, anything else? Nope. Hey, Tilly. Got a tail between my legs. <laughs> so, we've got fireflies and stargazing the 21st, right? We've got the farm spa day June 1st, and we've got field trips in between, right? All right. I think that's it for in the yarn farm. All right, see you guys later. Uh -uh. I said for in the yarn farm. That's just one segment. Oh. I'm like ready for bed. Look, see, I got on my pink t shirt. We are. Camouflage pants, you guys can't see. Look, I'm camouflaged. I'm gone. Wait, hang on, I gotta get a little taller. <laughs> okay, Urkel. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still have my rubber boots on and my sweats. And so, yeah, we're wet. We'll wait. I probably won't sleep that great tonight just because. I'll sleep like a baby. He sleeps great through storms, but mm -hmm. I don't. And part of it is, is that, how do we get our tornado warning, son? And we've talked about this before. It's kind of funny, and it's kind of old school, but it's the best we've got. If Fire department gets out with an air, with them big old horns. They get their big, uh. Megaphone. Well, they get their big truck out, right? Mm -hmm. And they're up on it, and they've got a megaphone, and they're. Take cover now. And they're literally driving the back roads past everyone's house to tell them to take cover now. And mm -hmm. there's, I think, two or three trucks. Three, three trucks. trucks. And they each have a route. Mm -hmm. We don't have a big horn. If we had a horn, if, if Lenapont had a horn, it would, um, we'd hear it. We're just yeah. a mile out. Yeah, we're just fine. 
So like literally, we were like two miles from the center of town, and mm-hmm. we're only a mile from. Yeah. Actually, take that back. We're a mile and a half from the center of town because yeah. town's only a mile long. Yep. So we're a mile and a half. If you go to, to the so, center of town. Like those horns they use in the city that cover five square miles or whatever. We would hear that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like almost, they would almost be loud enough to go to the next town. <laughs> it would. So, if we ever get one of those, so we'll all be safe, right? So. Well, we'll know what's coming. But, but right most now, of the time, the fire we're all department. sitting there staring, going like, you see a nader? You yeah, see a nader? See, you see anything? You see anything? Because mm-hmm. it's crazy. But, yeah. all right. We're amateur storm watchers. We are, from the comfort of our own home, because we won't get out in our truck and drive around and look for them. No, no, no. We got the lawn chair and the drinks and the snacks. Yep. Dad took the lawn chair off the front porch this morning, and I was like... Hey, that was set up so I could watch for neighbors. They can't hear you. Oh. Dad was cleaning off the front porch this morning. Took the lawn chair. In Mom preparation had... for the storm. Yeah, correct. yeah, in preparation for it. Mom had a lawn chair there by the front porch. I was like, Dad takes it. I was like, hang on there. I was going to get some snacks and some drinks and watch for neighbors. Matt. He didn't find me very funny. So, anyway. All right. I think the only thing we have left, what is in the in the... I have some Pepsi left and some cookies. Uh, yeah, Pepsi in the farm, <laughs> in the farmhouse, right? Because we've already done in the fields. Everything's just soaked out there. What will make it? will make it. Ashley worked really hard. My strawberries better make it. They better make it. And she's got them in a raised bed, so they should. Um, and she raised it up even higher than last time, so it should be fine. Um, the zucchinis, the bell pepper. All that stuff, the watermelons, the cantaloupe that she planted. Probably not. I, I don't know. We can pray. That's all I can say. My garden might be flooded again this year. Pray for rain. No. That's what you're <sighs> normally praying for. I know. That's in the fall, though. That's in August, July. We'll be wanting all this rain now. But on the upside, we are out of drought conditions. There's always this silver lining, guys. I promise. <laughs> okay, anything else? There was this thing. Yeah, there was this thing. How'd you do in your roping? Come no on. good. In the farmhouse. I didn't do any good. I haven't done any good in a while. Hmm? So I haven't managed to do any good in a while. I know. What, the last two weekends? Yep. But you did get to go see your girlfriend again. You saw her in the last couple of weeks, a couple of times, correct? Saw her Saturday. Okay. And then Carson and her come up here and work that one day, right? Yeah, I did. At least twice. So, you got to see her twice, and they, they struggle with the long-distance relationship thing, don't you? I guess you would say that. She gets mad at you? I don't know. Because you're never around. <laughs> no. Wouldn't be there to listen to her, so I wouldn't know. You better watch it. She's going to watch this, and she's going to smack you. Probably. <laughs> well, I would have it coming, too. Yep, you would. So, up oh, there's Toby. Toby, you want to be on camera? Here, Kat. Get my here. Toby. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, he's not coming. No, nope, he's not. The two cats are mad because there's only dog food in the house. We don't feed the cats in here. Um, if they're in the house, if the cats are in the house, they better be after a mouse. Um, and yeah, you They get paid out mice. to the, they get fed out at the barn. Um. Tilly's cracking me up. He's walking like a raccoon because his back half is still soaking wet. And so he all hungered over. He's funny. But anyway, so they're looking for cat food and there isn't any in this house. I killed my first real rattlesnake this year. Just what, this week? So is it our house a place would be for sale, folks, just so you know. <laughs> we would be moving somewhere else. It was at work, and apparently it was three years old because every year the it gets another ball on the rattle. So it was it had three balls, so it was a three-year-old. And then today on a sticky pad, I caught one, and it's got coppers and yellows and blacks in it. I don't know it reds, and it was cool looking. But the this is, sounds so terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, it, the bottom jaw of it got stuck to the mouse sticky pad, and it was still trying to hiss and move its top jaw over. So the bottom jaw was over here, and the top jaw was over there, and its tongue was just kind of going <laughs> wherever. Kind of funny. You don't like snakes. <laughs> He's like, I'm not too far taking in this part. Uh, so, 
but anyway I do think I'm gonna start another um, something for the fair I gotta get on that don't know what I'm gonna make but actually I have a shawl I made but I probably need to make something else huh Ooh, the fair's a long ways away mom mm -mm. September it's May June July, July August, August Sept Sept four months four months to make a quilt is not long enough I'll probably just make a baby blanket Four months. Mm -hmm. Four. That's 120 days. Okay. What's your point? You know what you can do in 120 days? Apparently you can't rope with a snot. <laughs> how did that even... How did you get to that... <laughs> I haven't won anything in like... 15 days, 16 <laughs> days, not 120 <laughs> days. <clears throat> Sheesh, if I haven't won anything by then, I might as well just quit. <laughs> Surely somebody will feel sorry for me between now and then. I'm going to let you win. Yes. I don't know. I just, it popped out. That's all I can say. 120 days. You can make a lot of things in 120 days. Like what? Well... You can make three months. <laughs> Four months. No, I can't make anything. That's set and standard. You don't make that time. Time is time. Oh, uh, okay. You could make a lot of washcloths. You could make... But I don't enter oh, washcloths, really. I know what you can make in 120 what? days. A lot of cakes. You can make a lot of cakes. And brownies. And cookies. It. I have to spin We'll just come on a lazy like Susan and spin them a couple times and they'll be ready to rock and roll. For the fair. I have some um, roving that I started and then I'll need to make something out of it. You can make a lot of things. Oh, right? you know what you're not telling them? What did you do yesterday? I found a way to get RJ to church every time. Went to church with mom. Mm -hmm. And what was after church? Tacos. Taco picnic. <laughs> so, yep. it was good, wasn't it? Yep. Yep, I made my cream cheese dip with graham crackers, and they ate an entire tub of it. Like, there was, how many people do you think was there? There was three tables, and there were six people at all three of them, and they did that three 50 times. 100. 50 to 100. Yeah, because none of them all sat down at once, so. Yeah, I'd say. And they ate a big old tub of that stuff, and it was gone. I think mine was the only thing that was actually gone, right? Yep. But... Anyway, you had, what, four or five tacos and some brownies. Yep. Some chips. Some chips. Some salsa. Some salsa. Tea. Or... Nope. I had a... Uh, Kool-Aid. Black something. Black, black cherry Kool-Aid. That's what it was. So, yep. But it did good, right? Yep. I didn't fall asleep. That's a plus. Nope. Didn't fall asleep. He made it through. It was actually... There was... At one point, I looked and I said, that could transmit, translate to your roping, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. What's that say about me remembering church service? So, anyway. But everybody's happy to see you, correct? Yep. He didn't go to church with me all the time, so. They were all happy to see him. Nora hadn't seen you in a long time. Neither had Colleen. The one lady used to know when I went to, went to kindergarten. Yep. What's her name? Patty. Yeah. She hadn't seen me since kindergarten. Yep, when he was a little bitty. And she's like, well, RJ, you've grown up. He's 21 now. So. She hasn't seen me in 15 years. Pretty much. Dang. Never thought I'd be able to say I haven't seen somebody in 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> Dang, I'm old. Uh, well, she was the, um, you went to, you were uh, regular well, brick and mortar school up till yeah, fifth grade. School. You went to public school until fifth grade. Yeah, I went to kindergarten there in no water. Yep, and then we years. moved up here and we changed districts, so you went to Oklahoma Union. Yep. So. so she worked in the office. Yep, she worked in the office at the no water school. Yep. She knew who you were. She followed you in the newspaper, didn't she? Everybody knows. There were some other people there that knew who he was from the newspaper, too. Everybody knows who I am, though. I'm famous. You're famous. And, well, you met Lonnie's uh, golf and golf buddies. and buddies. Yeah. Yep. Lonnie lives in what mounds? Yep. 
and he lives an hour and a half away. Hour and a half away, and apparently, this gentleman and his brother go up and go brother golfing. In brother-in-law go up and go golfing with Lonnie every couple of weeks. Somewhere in the middle, somewhere a walk or something. Yep, they meet someplace and golf together. So, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Well, I met the infamous R.J." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Mm-hmm." mm-hmm. What well, was he told you? He said he'd heard all about you. And what'd you tell him? Not to believe a word Not of it. Not to believe a word of it. He's like, "Don't believe a word of it." So, it was pretty funny. Look, well, look at this but you had fun, didn't you? On here. Yeah. Look at this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you bloodied my nose last time you did that. You made me cry. <laughs> I'm tired, so I'm giggly. All right. That's a true story, folks. <laughs> really? broke my nose. I didn't break your nose. You Tell almost what did. happened. I didn't even bloody it. Yes, I did. It bled. No, it made your eyes water. I cried, okay? It hurt. <laughs> what happened? I had this board up against my face. It's, and a, it's a cat scratch board. It's real thick, and it's corrugated. You can see through the little corrugate thing. Well, me being me, I show it now. <laughs> Just knocked the crap out of myself right there. <laughs> That's how he gets hurt. I'm just saying, I didn't do anything this time. Well, last time I grabbed this board and I just shoved it in my face, like, I see you, mom. And all I can see is like a silhouette of her. All right. <laughs> Next thing I know, whoa! <laughs> and I was crying. Apparently, she you just know. reared back and whopped me, right? I thought he had a space between it. Because I thought you had to have the space to be able to see through the little corrugated things. But apparently he shoved it flat up against his nose. So and she he hit had right it right on my nose. And hard I just enough to bopped. leave an impression in the board. <laughs> I did. I just bopped. Not Okay, it's hard enough to really hurt him, but not really. You I was, broke it. Look, you broke I wasn't off. thinking I was going to make contact because I thought he had this much space, but he didn't. And so it was right up against his nose. And when I went pop... Oh my god! He yelled. He was like, <laughs> "I didn't even see it coming. I didn't even know it was coming. There was no time to get ready. Nothing. I could see her, but I couldn't see that well." The next thing he knows, he's smiling. I was screaming bloody murder. You hit me! You hit me! <laughs> yep, he was. And his eyes were watering. He's like, I'm crying. Yeah, I'm, crying. I'm crying. Yep. And I just, I thought he had a space between it. She didn't look, though. I mean, she no, didn't like I didn't peer around look. the look. No. She didn't even try to look through the board at me. She just. Assumed he had a space so that he could see me through those little corrugated things. And I just pop. And he never saw it coming. And he just. Oh, it was hilarious. That's okay. You survived it, didn't you, dear? Yeah, but it doesn't kill you. It only makes you stronger. And next time, he won't cry half as much when I smack him in the nose. <laughs> it won't be next time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Put a board up. You said that, and you just popped yourself in the mouth with this, so. Well, that was me doing it. It's different. <laughs> okay, it's different when I do something to myself. I mean, it doesn't hurt. And then you get it on. Anyway, so, all right, let's get off of here because it is storming. I don't know how long it's going to take for this to upload. We are a day late. Day late and dollar short. Just because we've been battening down the hatches. There was something else I had to do after church, too, yesterday, wasn't it? And I haven't even done my workout today. It probably won't happen today. I've got a headache. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. Yeah. He hang can. on, hang on. Here we go. Okay. Too much dead air time. Too boring. Look, I have a double chin. Two of them. Alright. So we're off of here. We'll see them next time in the next video, whatever. Alright. Right. Um, if you're on Facebook, we did do a little Facebook Live. So make sure that you go and check that out. Um, it's with the water. Get up and go check that real quick and see if it's up to the door. And then I'll take the camera over there if it is. Bye, guys. Bye. It's not going to be. He's like, it's not going to be. It 
it pours down for a few minutes and I mean like literally pours down and then it stops and it just kind of lets no, up. That's not up very much. See, and once it gets to the road, once it gets a clear path to the road, it just drains away on the road. So we're flooded in just because the road is flooded, but nothing. What are you doing, dork? I'm going to push up seeking it. Building my muscles. Muscles? Muscles are must goes from the refrigerator. Huh. So you're building your must goes? Yeah. All right. Get over here and say goodbye. These people want to say goodbye to you. Right? Oops, big thumb in the way. Boy, boy. All right. Anything else coming up? Boy, boy. Hey, grab Toby. He's right down here. Don't scratch me. No, he won't. Get yes, he will. You catch Come here, Toby. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm picking him up from the butt. See? Look at this. <laughs> okay, Toby. Toby. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's mommy. It's mommy. Okay. He's gonna. Okay. Okay. I'm right he's here. He's gonna do it, folks. He's gonna do it. This is Toby, and he is a what do they call him? Mangle, Manx, or heart bangle? I, I don't Manx, know. Manx, mangles. He's a wild he cat. He is. He's got a target on his side, and he's very active and very hunter orientated and um, evil. Pure evil. RJ calls him evil. He likes me, so... Um, he hates me. I found him at the shelter, and he's been with me for... He's going to knock everything over. Um, he actually will bite on us when he gets worked up. Um, his knees... Those are my cookies. His claws are going in my leg right now. But he is very vicious for a tame cat. He's not yeah, like he's baby evil. friendly. He's just pure evil. I mean, well... So, but he's gorgeous. We'll shred a guy. He's my... <laughs> Anyway, he's a good mouser, though. That's the thing. But, all right. We're off of here. Now you've seen at least one cat with us. Everybody else is Hey, they is in saw the kennel. beginning. They saw Tilly. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> That's whack. Yep. So, all right. We will see you next time. Y'all stay safe out there and don't get blown away. Bye, bye.